that's a knife, right? Hey everyone, this is Jeroen, better known as Touch Porn Fan, and I'm once again rejoined by my girlfriend Lirit. Hi! Today we're watching 1963's From Russia With Love, the second James Bond movie. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. Thank you for all the comments uh, for the, from the first video. Um, and I'm very excited to watch the second one. Me too, yeah, I can't wait to delve into this. Yeah. Once again, you know Once nothing again, about know this nothing. movie. Only uh, the main character, James Bond, who is played by, played by uh, Sean Connery. Once again, yes, yes. Sean Connery returns. Um, he said that it isn't in Russia, so... Um, it's not in Russia, that's the only thing she guessed. Um, <laughs> obviously the title is From Russia With Love. Uh, last time you, we watched Dr. No and you were pleasantly surprised maybe, I, I like to say, with how much you enjoyed it, even though it's the oldest Bond movie. Yeah. Um, this came out a year later uh, with a two million dollar budget, so they now so one have million. Yeah, double oh. the budget of the first one, so maybe you'll notice differences. Okay. Um, it's based on probably my favorite James Bond Fleming book, or one of my favorites. Uh, and it also happened to be the favorite book of President John F. Kennedy at the time, when, they, uh, when this was out, okay. who was president at the time. Um, from Russia with Love. Mm -hmm. The story itself, I'm not going to spoil anything, but all I'm going to say is... There's a Bond girl in it, there's a villain in it, and there's a story. That's always the same. Um, but all I'm going to say is Dr. No had a very basic story, if you remember. Um, this is far more complicated. It's, it's okay. a more complex story, so it's definitely uh, keep your eyes open and to continue to see what's going on in this. Okay. There's all kinds of twists and turns. If you're interested in seeing the full-length reaction of us watching From Russia With Love, you can come on to my Patreon page and all premium supporters can see the whole thing over there as well. <laughs> so, um, without further ado, Let's delve into From Russia With Love. <laughs> now is it with the normal uh, yeah. response? Yeah, it just starts with the Bond theme immediately this time. But now you see him like standing like this. No, that's the same, same stance as the previous oh. one. It's actually not Sean Connery, it's the stuntman Bob Simmons in the oh. first three Bond movies. Oh, it starts directly with this. Yeah, and only the first one immediately goes into a title sequence. Yeah. This one uh, doesn't. This is like the old, the other ones. From Ooh. Is that the bad guy? He's around the corner. Are they in the maze or something? Yeah. What's that? A strangle to strangle him. Oh. Ah, behind you! Oh. Is he dead? Yeah. For real? No. It's not possible. He's also in the next one. Oh, but it's not Bond. No, it's a training exercise. Yeah. Just someone with a really convincing Sean Connery mask. So this is the first true title sequence with the music, but still, do you notice anything different? No singer. There's no singer, you're right. But uh, there is a singer to this movie this time, but it's only used for the end credits. Oh, okay. Matt Monroe, he does the, uh, the title song for this movie. That's the correct name. It's the correct name, yeah. <laughs> She's referring to obviously uh, me mixing up Monty Norman with um, Monty Python for whatever reason. 
just said it too fast. That's what you get when you record stuff on the spot. Obviously, I know the difference. <laughs> but there's no like uh, previous what's happening in the movie. Kind of, again, you see belly dancers. The only belly dancers yeah, but and that's, glitter. Yeah, but that is part of the movie, the belly dancers. Oh, okay. Yeah, and this time John Barry does the music, so no more Monty Norman. It's only the first one. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Venice. Yeah. Can you play chess? No. You? Yeah, yeah I like this. You know all the strategies? No, I'm not a grandmaster at all, but I, I can do basic chess. I mean, the, the rules are pretty simple, but it gets really deep. You are... R required at once. And that is? With an octopus logo. So, he has to lose? Well, he doesn't necessarily have to lose, but he has to come over immediately. Queen? To King for. Is that good or bad? Yeah, he's putting him checkmate. Does the octopus logo already tell you something? It's the bad one. Do you know which people are involved with the octopus or it's not? I don't think you know yet. Then like Spectre, he strikes. Spectre again. Okay. So and they're uh, Russian. They help. Not all of them. The Spectre just has Peoples of all kinds of ethnicities in there, criminals. Kronstein, <laughs> you are sure this plan is... Is that a real cat? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's not blinking. <laughs> For the killing of our operative, uh, Dr. No. The Dr. No is already dead. Yes, I want revenge for that. So we have all the... So this was the plan Russia. explained. Um, the, the woman, Rosa Klepp, mm -hmm. number three, she's part of Russian intelligence. Mm -hmm. And the people there don't know that she's secretly actually part of Spectre. Mm -hmm. So they want to have a girl that you don't see yet to get Bond into the trap so they can steal a lecture decoding machine. Yeah. That's part of the... that's what it's about. And they want them. They want him dead. They want him dead for the death of Dr. No as well. Welcome to Spectre Island. It's great honor. Island. It's like a training ground for the bad guys. Yes. Are those real people who are jumping? Oh my god. Yeah. There's no substitute for experience. I agree. We use life targets as well. <laughs> you see, we use life targets as well. You saw that in the opening too. Yeah. But she wanted, she wanted a girl, right? Yeah, that comes later, you're right. So that's part of the plan. But she first needs the killer, and then she needs the, the girl to lure him in the trap. Look at the way she looks at him, too. Yeah. What's... <gasps> so you know that this guy won't be messing around in this movie. Nope. You see that he's very professional. Istanbul. So not Russia. I went there no. on that square. Really? Well, yes. that's where most of the movie is set, Istanbul. Oh, really? And there was a Russian consulate there at the time. So it's not in Russia, but in Istanbul. In Istanbul. But, you know, like in Berlin, you had like the British there and, and stuff. Yeah. And the Russians, same with Istanbul, you yeah. the Russian consulate. This is the, the girl. That's Russian. Please, where's this? You can speak a little Turkish? I worked for Turkish Airlines. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Did you ever see the movie um, Red Sparrow? Yeah. With uh, Jennifer Lawrence? Yes. This is kind of similar. Oh, I she... think they based it on this. This is Rose. So she doesn't know she works for Spectre. Wow, she has bad eyes. You work you see how Except thick the glasses. glasses. Stay. Take off your jacket. Huh? You're a fine looking girl. Sit down. Then you have had the three lovers. <laughs> what is the purpose of such an intimate question? <laughs> is that also on her CV? Yeah. I suppose that would depend on the man. Sensible answer. This man, for instance. Is that James Bond? Yeah. On, you will do anything he says. 
And if she and fails? If I refuse, then you will not leave this room alive. You are very fortunate to have been chosen for such a simple, delightful duty. <laughs> simple and delightful. Just, uh, just like Red Sparrow. Yeah, exactly. It's very similar. I said, great sport this bunting. I couldn't agree with him more. <laughs> you recognize her? She has a beautiful, uh, like, bikini. So do you recognize her? Is that from the first movie? Yes, he was a girl from the casino in Doctor No. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I see the tattoo okay. now as well, when you pointed yeah. it out in the first movie. I see it What's a lot. What's going on? Two. I know what it says yes, now, two. I research. It says Scotland forever. Oh, uh, yeah. Over. He's been asking for you all morning. Wouldn't Where Benny. in the world are you, James? I've just been reviewing an old case. <laughs> oh, sir, an old case now, am I? Last time you said that, you went off to Jamaica. <laughs> I haven't seen you for six months. That was fake. The, the sound effect, you mean? It's a miracle. I... Ooh. See Q over there? Yeah. That's the real one. That's the real one. So, from the second one. Yeah. No, it's some sort of trap. Well, the Russian girl. Yeah. So they know it's a trap and they go for it anyway, just like the chess guy said. Yeah. If any, ask the equipment officer to come in, please. Equipment officer. Yeah, the cube branch. <laughs> a smart looking piece of button there. Now she comes. <laughs> I want that I want that suitcase. Yeah. Seven folding snipers rifle. 0.25 caliber. <gasps> I mean back then gadgets were still cool, right? I mean to me this is a lot cooler than an invisible car or something. Inside a tear gas. <laughs> that goes like that. That's right. And open ordinarily. <laughs> he was scared. <laughs> he was scared he saw that. Never been to Istanbul. You've never been to Istanbul? Where well, the moonlight on the Bosphorus is irresistible. I also went on the Bosphorus. Really? With the boat. Tried everything else. Darling money, Penny. You know I never even look at another woman. <laughs> liar, liar, pencil fire. I'll get the car, sir. Again? Yeah, it's similar to Dr. No, right? Again? But this time, there's someone really... Because he verified it. Did you see the... Um, he asked for a match? That was like code language. Ah, yeah. They, yeah. They, but this yeah. one is the bad guy. Similar to Dr. No, right? At the airport, all kinds of people. Yeah. This movie's like a cat and mouse chase. But with a dog as well. Spectre is the dog. They don't know about the dog. You know, they just the dog puts them against each other. But it's actually Spectre. So these two aren't necessarily enemies. There's tension because of Cold War. They follow us, we follow them. It's a sort of understanding. <laughs> See? Very friendly. <laughs> ah, my friend, come in, come in. Glad to see you. What kind of photo is that? Is it, is it him? I think it's Churchill. Yeah. yeah it's oh, yeah. Churchill. Churchill. yeah. Medium sweet. He's ringing Medium his sweet. son? Yeah. He also is my son. He also is my son. <laughs> He's a family company. Who's he? It's one of the Russians. Again, the, the Bond theme when he's just walking, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's always with Connery's movies. He's just the sexy man, you know? <laughs> What's that? A Listening bug. device. Yes. Always in the chandelier. What was that? To check if they can listen to him. Yes. Won't do. I'm sorry. The bed's too small. <laughs> One moment, sir. Set the bridal suite. Well, let's have a look at it. I may like it. <laughs> Yeah. Huh? He's getting into a taxi. Who can the Russians suspect but the British? The Cold War in Istanbul will not remain cold very much. So they're just provoking tension between the two. Yeah. You've seen this mask as well in real yeah. life? Also inside. What is she doing? Halikarim <laughs> Bay.
They had bombs? Yeah. Now the Russians were gonna blame the British. He was relaxing on the settee for a few moments. Yeah, he was. The girl left in hysterics. Find your technique too violent? <laughs> <laughs> to do with it. Let's try and find out. They're just gonna spy on the Russians now. Huh? Rats. Yeah. Well, this time it, it's not spiders, though. No, but it's still scary. Look, this is below the ground. Mind your head now. Below the Russian council building. And the Russians know this or not? No. Krilenko. So he's back. Another Bulgarian they use as a killer. So this thing is in the ground? Yeah. And they can't see it? It's probably like in a corner, you know. That's what I like about the Cold War, the espionage. Kills for pleasure. Stuff like this really happened in real life. They're spying on each other. Oh. Just a moment. The girl's just come in. That's that girl. Well, from this angle, things are shaping up nicely. <laughs> now, I need a little so time weird. to sticky It will be better if you didn't. The gypsies. Yes. So they're allied oh. with the British. The, um, the turkeys part of this. But they're so the Russians... in a house. Yeah, but it's still settlements, like a gypsy camp. Hey, Joe. <laughs> you see how big the settlement is? Yeah. In love with the same man who threatened to kill each other. It must be settled in gypsy way. Fighting of what? Belly dancers. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Connery looks like he's having the time of his life looking at this. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yes, sir. The veterans are going to fight over a man. <sighs> Never do that. <laughs> She's saying that. Yes, I think I got it without the subtitles. <laughs> Ooh, she's strangling her. Yeah, they can fight to the death for this. These are the Bulgarians. Right. <laughs> this is not working. Yeah, it's jammed. Oh. oh no! There it is. Yeah, the Spectre Hitman. <laughs> He wants him alive. Yes, exactly. You know why? You have a guess why they why Spectre needs Bond alive at this moment? For that girl. For the girl and the the trap. Mm, yeah. The the lector. They need the lector. Meantime, I'll take care of this filthy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. There. Yeah. Barbara said for you to decide. I think decide. he's going with the They're both left yours. One. What do you think? It's Bond. But he's going with the two. This might be, he's just going to do both, probably. <laughs> Twice that Kurienko has tried to kill me. The third time he will succeed. Hide out of Kurienko, the Bulgarian. And that I'll do. It's that girl. Oh, hmm. no. My sons. They will ring his doorbell. He has sums everywhere. <laughs> private escape hatch. Out of the mouth. Yeah. Bam! Shoot! He's waiting too long! Shoot! Got him. She should have kept her mouth shut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now she's back in the hotel. In the bridal suite. Yes. But the doors are open. Right. Why? There is someone. Right. He's 
smelling something too. The girl. You think it isn't strange that the doors are open when it comes inside? Oh, he inside? notices something is up. She's in his bedroom. Careful. Guns upset me. This scene is always used as the audition scene for new Bond actors. They always have to play this scene. You look just, but I think my mouth is too big. What? No, it's the right size. <laughs> For me, that is. <laughs> Do you get it? It's the right sauce. <laughs> the filming the whole thing. Spectre. Was this the mask you were in as well? Saint Sophia? Mm -hmm. This oh. one? Yes. So you actually been to a Bond location without knowing. Was it like this in real life, or did don't remember? I don't know. I, re I don't remember. I only remember those things. And one of them was blue inside. Everything was blue. I think it was this one. Oh, wow. In a mask. Yeah, she's going to leave the floor plans where he can take the lecture. Once again, he's stopped yeah. by Spectre. So like I said, it's cat, mouse and dog, pretty much. All I want is that lector. Oh? <laughs> Are you sure that's all you want? Well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Was this the river you, uh, you were on? Yeah. Did you make amazing amazing? Oh, James. Oh, James. Will you make love to me all the time in England? Day and night. Go on about the mechanism. <laughs> Dushka, tell me the truth. Am I as exciting as all those Western girls? Oh, well, once when I was with Am in Tokyo, we had an interesting experience. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Moneypenny. That's all, that's all. <laughs> now, all I have to do is to tell the girl the date. The 13th? The 14th. No lucky number. Yeah, that's what I thought at first when I saw it, that it was because of superstition, but it's not. What's that, a bomb? Yeah. You did say your clock was correct. Russian clocks are always correct. <laughs> now she's stealing the lecture. Yes, yeah. But he's doing it a day earlier than he told her just to make sure that if she briefs something to her superiors, they think a wrong day. Mm -hmm. That's why. The sardines, isn't it? It's a hell of a time to be superstitious. Come on. Just to be safe and so Yeah. But how do you think he's going to take the lecture back to England? With, With a boat? No, not a boat. Different transportation. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, disgusting! Rats! At least it's not as tense as, as the spider scene yeah. in Doctor No. <laughs> so they got the, the lector, now they need to bring it back to the west. And they're doing it by train. Train? You never heard of the Orient Express? Hey! So they got the whole trap in place that the chess man had predicted. This is where it's gonna where they're going to intend to take Bond out. So yeah. now it gets serious. How did they know that um, he came one day earlier? Spectre seem to know everything. They're always a step ahead, you're right. It's a good question. They just knew anyway. They were. He was already on the train. Yeah, but yeah. how did they know? Because she didn't know. You're Only true, so. he. Yep. And the one he called. I think Spectre he constantly has a close eye on them. As we've seen throughout the whole movie. But it's a good, uh, good point. Oh, James! James! Oh, James! James! Oh, no! <laughs> what do you think of the dress? A little bit too big, I think. I've had a 
particularly fascinating life. <laughs> Would you like to hear about it? Mm. You <laughs> But even if he did saw him, he doesn't, he never saw him in his life, so he wouldn't know. What is she doing? But that could be anyone though, knock three. Everyone knocks like yeah. that, so. Her hair is perfect every time. This is Somerset. You are the friend of Karim Bey? Yes. He's dead. There's been a terrible accident. The blonde guy killed them both. This must be kept quiet until we reach Trieste. It will be difficult. Why? You only have to close the door. This is where they were supposed to go off. You see the sun? Karim is dead. And on the side there, that's Ian Fleming. The writer of James Bond doing this, a cameo. That guy. Yeah, doing a cameo. You're doing this under orders, I know. What are they? I don't know what you mean. Liar. <laughs> Just tell me. I love you, I love you, it's true. <laughs> you think it was okay for Bond to hit a woman like that? Well, she's bad. No, she's not. She doesn't know she's doing disrespect. She thinks she's doing it for Mother Russia. And she was ordered or else she would be killed. But, but she did not know anything about this. But she's like Red Sparrow, right? Kind of, but she thinks she's doing it for Russia. And I believe she did kind of start to really fall in love with Bond, maybe. She's just more. playing, right? Not necessarily anymore. But I mean, she's... She started playing. Yeah. He already knows that he's followed. No, he doesn't see it. He still doesn't have a clue about Spectre's involvement. You have to think with this movie yeah. a lot. It's I a said lot. it's a lot more complicated than Doctor No. Yeah. Right? But it will all fall in place. And now he pretends to be Bond and he knows the code line. He will kill him. Yep, and then pretend to be him. And then he will go to Bond. So he's in trouble now. Now he's in trouble. My God. <laughs> what kept you? My God. Oh, so sorry, I only he's still got this one. About three years. He one. already knew. Yes. It's fake. Sometimes. No, you know, he doesn't know for sure. Yes. I try to keep in shape. He already know. He's suspicious, but he doesn't know for certain. Because he did do the code line, and you know, that was correct. Yeah, but the card. Yeah, he, he's suspicious. White gentleman, monsieur. Uh, no, the red kind. Red wine with fish. Oh, that's not correct. What is he doing? He's putting something in there and Bond notices, you see? Yeah. He saw it, right, Bond? Jero. Bring her in here. May I? But now he knows he's bad, right? He's gonna ask now. And take it easy, oh seven. My escape route's only for one. Gradient, the train slows down. He's kneeling we'll beside him. Pick up a car. There. 20 miles from the ground. Yeah, he lost his guard. Stupid. Now he fell into the trap. He's a double O. Never sits beside a, a man who is bad. But he still, he thought, he, he, you know, he wasn't sure. Because it made sense to him, oh, escape route only for one escape route, you know? Red wine with fish. Well, that should have told me something. <laughs> you know the right wines. Not till you crawl over here and you kiss my foot. He's good, right? Good actor, this one. 
Robert Shaw. I'll pay for it. What with? 50 gold sovereigns. Oh, in his suitcase. You know what he's gonna try? See, he switched up the suitcases. Long guy is very strong, right? Yeah, we saw him in the training in the opening of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> the girl's still lying for dead. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's knocked out by the chloral hydrate. <laughs> They're really going at it. It's such a rough, yeah, but rough fight. The blonde guy doesn't even feel pain because the girl. She oh yeah, him, right? with the the brass knuckles. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's the it's the knife, right? Yeah. Ah! Ooh. 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 He, he's killing him with his own strangle, uh. Uh. strangle rope thing. Yeah. He got him. Well done, Bond. It's much more tense in the fight with Dr. No, right? This one. Yeah, but Dr. No was dead in 10 seconds. Exactly. You won't be needing this. Old man. Old man. <laughs> Is the train stopping? Tanya. Yeah. Oh, because something is... Tanya, this is where the guy was gonna go off after he killed them. But they're not. Is she running? Yeah. <laughs> is she already awake? <laughs> she just woke up. She has no idea what to do. This is also during the day, filmed during the day, or not? I think this is. This looks more convincing. It might be. All right. But these guys are also from Spectre. Yeah. His arm! Come on, I'll leave you here. This is so weird. And now she's sleeping, but she was running. Yeah, but she's still under influence of the chloral hydrate from the drink. Let's do the helicopter from the Spectre. But they already see that she's alive. Yeah, so they know it's not Nash. I mean, Grant. <gasps> A mine? Grenades. Grenade? Where is he going? <gasps> He's going to shoot that helicopter. Yeah, but first he has to try and get to a safe place to do so, to keep attacking him. There, over there. But in the helicopter they had also guns, right? Yeah, you mean they could shoot him as well. It's a and they have oh, like a mine. Oh, here comes a grenade. Oh, a, gr a grenade. Uh, too bad. <laughs> Bond was like surprised the thing exploded. He was like, mm -hmm. what? But he didn't see the grenade. Karma. Spectre is not that quite smart. They're all killed with their own guns. Yeah. You're right, Grant was killed with his own strangulation mm -hmm. rope. Where are they going now? Spectre? They're trying to escape back to the, to the west with the lector. Mm. Hey, get out, move. Why? Shoot boat. him. Why? We don't need you. Russians are usually more ruthless than the British. No. They don't need to shoot small guys. You don't have to bring him with you. <laughs> He's throwing him overboard? Yeah. Where are they now? Chopped. Pistol. Somewhere between the Balkan coast and uh, Italy. Yes, we're here, near Istria. Yeah, so near Croatia. It was Gleb's choice. 
The people failed. It was <laughs> your plan. The fellow did him. Now they're blaming each other. Yeah. She's going to die. It's a poison tipped shoe. Oh. Why not the other one? That's what they made us believe. Tell the Russians that there will be another delay. Oh, because the the girl is still alive. Yeah. That's why she's not dead. That's what I think as well. There's still a chance for Spectre to get the lector. How did they know he? They were there. Is there like a chip inside of the boat? Good point. They knew they were in this vicinity, I guess, but you're right, they did find them pretty fast. Because <laughs> he was inside the boat of Spectre just now, yeah. which is outside of Italy. <laughs> Give them a warning shot! <laughs> Rifle grenade! <laughs> You're firing too close! <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's... I don't know, he's just... like, easy shooting. Take the wheel. The drums about must be lighter. We can go. And faster. Pistol. Oh, he's going to set them on fire. Exactly. Flare gun. That's stupid. There's water with oil everywhere. Or with gasoline. Yeah. yeah. They really put people on fire in special suits for this scene oh, really? to get the effects right and stuff ah! Ooh. I've been the there I stood on that uh, bridge yeah I know you told me in, uh, when we watched Casino Royale mm -hmm. so Italy is back in the safe borders of the west yeah so you think mission completed now? no What's going to happen, you think? It's not over yet. She is the bad guy. Uh, also, uh, get me the you recognize her? Mm -hmm. James Bond. James, we will miss the plane. And she recognized her. Paul, Bond here. Just to tell you we're off in a few minutes, and I want to thank you for it. Romanova, the door. Now she has to choose. Why? Why? She wants to take this. Good job, Charlie. Let's get the poison tip too. Mm -hmm. Why? Ah, no. Yep, there. Bye. With her own gun. Again. <laughs> Again. Inspect people with their own guns. Had her kicks. <laughs> <laughs> we should go here as well one day again. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. With love. But it is her loyalty who saved him. Yes. What is it? I'll show you. <laughs> you haunted me so. I went there. I stood there, right over there. But this is the title song. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I don't think, I don't understand why they didn't use it for the title. They did it from the next one onwards, but mm -hmm. they used it for the credits. <laughs> Do you see that Aaron's Blofeld? Question mark. Yes, good. That's, I'm glad you noticed it. I'm glad you noticed it. Why? Um, I'm not going to spoil it to you yet. It's Why? Like it comes in later movies. That's, uh, oh, that's uh, the guy from Spectre. Yes. Yes. Well spotted. I, I'm surprised <laughs> you saw it. The head of Spectre is called, uh, is called Blofeld. Oh, uh, that's, oh. Uh, yeah. But we but won't see not, him until that's later. That's not fun for the actor who's playing him. But so the actor who's playing him, I can spoil to you, who played him in this movie. We won't mm -hmm. spoil for like. That, you remember the professor that Bond killed in Doctor No? Mm -hmm. That was him in this movie, only the actor. Okay. So we, we only saw his hand, but that was his hand. It's just a little trivia. 
Okay, we finished watching From Russia With Love. Um, yeah. And I always ask you first, what are your overall thoughts of the, the whole movie? Uh, I had to think a lot. <laughs> a lot more than a the lot, simple story of Dr. No, right? Yeah, yeah. Is that a good thing for you in a movie or a bad thing if you have a to... A bad thing. <laughs> okay, and when, okay, you don't like it when a story is too complex or... Sometimes, but um, this is a lot. <laughs> yeah, it can be confusing, this yeah. movie. I can agree, yeah, especially... I had for... to... Yeah, I had to like... Connect the connect dots. Connect the dots. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, I do think... When you read the book from Russia with Love, that was my experience. Uh, even for me, a lot more of the story made sense. A lot more is explained in the book. Like, mm -hmm. why do they take the train back and not the plane? All of that stuff is actually explained in the book. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you, you spend more time with the book, so you understand it better. But yeah, I can see that. Um, okay, but we're going to go over the same rating system again. Uh, and I'm going to start with the Bond performance once yeah. again. Sean Connery returning for his second outing as James Bond. Five stars. Yeah, again. Again, okay. You want to elaborate on why five stars again? No, you can see it also. Yeah, he's, so. he's just... To you, he's yeah. a good Bond. Yeah. Anything that stuck out for you? Favorite moments with him in this movie? Uh... The scene where he was fighting. Right, that was a tense one. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Really good, really well done stuff. Um, okay, we go over to our second rating the Bond girl, Tatiana Romanova, yes. played by Daniela Bianchi. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of her? I gave her three stars. Okay, very good. Okay. I thought she was very naive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little bit too yeah. girlsy for you, maybe. But um, her hair was perfect yeah, so all the time. When she was sleeping, yeah. <laughs> when she was awake, when she was fighting, yeah. every time it was perfect. When he hit her, yeah. she was like this, but her <laughs> hair was perfect. Her. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, and her, her clothes from the 1960s. Beautiful, Beautiful, right? Yeah, yeah, I like her fashion as well. It's, um, but she played it very good for a naive woman. I don't know if she had to play like that. Yeah, obviously that's her role. Yeah. So it's more centered to you're not, you don't like the naive side of her no. role, but her as an actress mm -hmm. doesn't matter. No, no correct critique to no. her. Okay, you were mentioning the, the hitting. Um, is that to you? How, how do you look at that these times? Is that different? Or? Well, I thought she knew she was bad. Yeah. Then you I thought, thought she truly was hiding something. Yeah. Then I thought like, yeah, when you're bad, then you have, yeah, then you ask for it. Even if you're a woman, <laughs> doesn't matter. No. Hmm. Well, you're bad. Well, I okay. see. Because in the first one, he also twisted the arm from the camera lady. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But she was also Connery bad. is rough like that. He's kind of, but in a good way. You still you don't grow to dislike him, I think. Because it's you know, there's you can see why he does what he has to do well, for his job. For me it's bad is bad then you ask for it. Yeah. Yeah, but then it turned out, of course, that she was no, indeed innocent. Yeah. But, she didn't know, so Oh well she was still happily in love with Bond yeah. in the end. So Okay. Um, also, going over to the third thing we're always rating, it's the Bond villains. Yeah. Uh, what did you give the Bond villains of also, this movie? three stars. Three stars again. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about them? Um, well, I, uh, I only saw them fighting. In a way, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the presence of Red Grand was... Uh, you know, he was ever present in the movie, of course. You see him all the time and it builds up to... Yeah. To the moment they meet in the train. Um, can, can, can you, let's start with him. What do you think of him as a villain? Even when he's quiet, you know he's bad. Yeah. You can see it in his eyes. Right. Very threatening, I think. It's my uh, like, a, you know, you, especially because we see in the opening and he's a professional killer. <laughs> yes, with the knuckles. 
The knuckles in his, in his belly doesn't yeah. flinch. No, nothing. Yep. So when the uh, fighting started in the train, I, I already said to you, well, he doesn't even feel pain, so I don't know how Bond is going to kill yeah. him. And that's, 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 I think, is the power of this movie. You know what he's able to do. You know this guy is strong, so you know Bond is in trouble. So yeah. it really builds up to that. Uh, I like that aspect of this movie. But there was also another villain, Rosa Klepp, the Russian uh, that defected to Spectre. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you think of her? Um, well, I know from other movies where like Russian, how do you call that, uh, what she was, Russian agent? No, she's not a Russian agent. Yeah, she was a colonel in the, in the Russian intelligence, basically, yeah, in military-wise. They're military like very strict and hard and yeah. everything. She wanted to be like that, but... I wasn't scared of her. Not too convincing. No. Okay. She just hit her on the chair or something like that. Yeah. But not on her. Yeah. Just to scare her a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But yeah. I know from other movies they scared the other people with like hitting on them or something yeah, like so that. Yeah. So I didn't. Not the I scariest, wasn't of her. scariest uh, character to you. No. Nope. Okay, she had the signature. Poison tipped shoe. Yes, yes, yeah. Very clever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, there was. I think they all they also had that nineteen sixties, like for real. And they, of course, like for uh, real. they, of course, um, later uh, parodied that in the movie Kingsman, where Axie gets the poison no. tipped shoe in his shoes that came from this movie. So, okay, there was of course another villain that you don't yeah. see yet, only his hand with the with white the cat. cat. Yeah, yes. what do you think? I thought you... that the cat was fake. <laughs> no, it's a real cat. They use a real cat every time. Okay. What do you think of. Any thoughts on. Do you think he'll appear more? Because obviously he's not killed. Well, he is, uh, he is the boss from Spectre. Yeah, I did foreshadow, of course, a little bit that you'll hear more of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you expect from Spectre? Do you think it's present in more of the movies? Because you haven't seen any no. movies with Spectre yet. I think only the last one, what's called Spectre. Obviously, yeah. The modern rendition. Yeah. Um, and nothing else. Nothing else, okay. No. Uh, how about in the early movies? you expect to see more of Spectre? <laughs> no idea. Either. I'm looking at a poster from all the movies, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. What I only happens. see legs and women and James Bond. You can't see anything <laughs> from there, inspector wise. No. But you did spot Blofeld in the end credits. Yeah. So you did see that he has a name. Yeah. Okay, um, we'll get to that later in a different movie reaction. <laughs> um, we go to the locations. The locations. I yes. gave them also three stars. Three stars again. Yeah. Okay, third time in a row. Yeah. Uh, you talk about the locations. What did you think? It was Istanbul. Yeah. I've been there. Um, it was a beautiful city. And next up was, uh, I don't know, around Europe. Yeah, you don't see too much of no. that though. <laughs> It's, uh, and also the part where Bond is being chased by the helicopter, that was all filmed in Scotland, I think. So you don't really, that's mm. not really Eastern Europe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's mainly uh, Istanbul. Yeah. yeah, and the last scenes were in Venice, but I don't think it was in Venice. It was fake, I think. Yeah, lots of back projection so and the studios. three stars goes to uh, Istanbul. Yeah, mainly for the Istanbul scenes. Yeah. I completely agree. That's that's the most part of what you see in this movie. Yeah. The rest are a lot of studios and, and stuff. They, uh, they also filmed in the mosques. Yeah. So that yeah, you've been to that one as well. Yeah. Saint Sophia. Yeah, no, great, great place. Looks very exotic, Istanbul. Um, we go over to the next thing to raise, which is the story. Yeah. Two stars. <laughs> Ooh, all right. No, fair enough. It's your uh, rating. Uh, why two stars? I had to think! Too much! Too you. much! Yeah. I'm just like an eh, enjoyable watcher and not like a thinking watcher. Yeah, I see. So, um, yeah, I had to think a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and you had to explain a lot to me. And it's funny because um, this is my experience of watching From Russia With Love with other people for the first time. I've done it before with friends. 
they usually react like this, like, well, it's a good movie, but I didn't really follow it. To us Bond fans, this, and to at least a lot of us, great movie and, you know, we love the story, but obviously we know the story back to front. For you, it's a lot of connecting the dots. Yeah. So I can see. You know, I can Maybe see if I watch it like two or three times, then I. Uh, you completely understand I, it. I completely I think, I understand it more than now. Yeah, I think the, the moment people start to fully understand it is always when Grand explained what happened on the train to him. Like he's part of Spectre, mm -hmm. the girl doesn't know that. And he explains the whole thing. Yeah. It was already explained, but it goes really fast in this movie, I yeah. think. Um, especially for a first time viewer. Okay, so two stars, fair enough. What about your enjoyment of this movie? It was three. Three stars. Yes. A little bit less than Dr. No this time. Yeah. Okay. Because of the difficulty with the thinking, yeah. but I enjoyed it with many laughter. Yeah. <laughs> and all the bad guys were killed with their own guns. Yeah, good observation. <laughs> good observation. And their own weapons, at with least. Their own weapons, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Uh, I think you, you mainly really enjoyed the parts on the train you just said as well. Yes. I, I think that is the highlight to the movie for me as well. The train is where it builds up to and where it all comes down to. And oh, and um, underground with the oh, boats. Oh, yeah, yeah. You liked that as well when they were spying on the Russian consulate building. Yes, with the, with the binoculars. Periscope. Periscope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clever stuff, right? Wow. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's espionage in the sixties. Yeah, it's but great. How? You you see something coming rising up above the you would floor, think, right? You would think if if our downstairs neighbors are spying on us, we would notice like a scope somewhere. Yes, right. But yeah, it's probably under a desk, like tucked away in the dust, you know, in the darkness. So it's hard to spot, probably. That's my explanation. Who knows? So, um, anyway, <laughs> that was From Russia With Love, our second movie reaction. Yeah. Uh, that brings this down to three stars, your overall ranking. A little bit lower than Dr. No, but I think still a pretty fair rating. Uh, we hope you enjoyed uh, the second movie reaction. Once again, leave a comment, leave us a like, let us know what you think. <laughs> Uh, the next one, of course, is Goldfinger, Goldfinger, which is one you already did see. Yes, but not most of it because I fell asleep. So we're still going to rewatch that one. So um, I think some scenes you I don't remember. remember yeah. <laughs> A lot of it will probably come back when we get to it, but yeah. you'll see I us. I know the laser thingy. Yeah, that's memorable. Um, anyway, we'll be back for Goldfinger. In movie reaction number three, we hope you enjoyed. Take care, subscribe, see you guys later. Bye!